Okay, so today I want to just show you the thought process that I usually go through to create a planner. So first of all, you have to research. So we will go into uh, E-Rank here to do our research, okay? Right, so I use E-Rank to do the research because I think it actually keeps up with the trends all over and not only on Etsy, okay? So basically, if something is ranking high on Etsy, most likely it will have, uh, it will be in demand elsewhere, okay? So that is why I love to actually look on E-Rank, okay? So let us go into the hot section. So these items are basically trending right now and uh, so basically what i will what i like to do is um go into the trend section right but i'm actually just seeing this hot section which is really nice and we can just browse through it just to see what's happening okay so we have digital planner as you can see here and we also have journal so basically what we are looking for is stuff that we can create digitally all right so we have, um, so let us look at the digital planner, right? So we'll click on that and see what, um, you know, it has to show, show us. Okay. Okay. So these are the planners, the digital, pl the digital planners that are basically trending right now, as you can see right here. Okay. So we have ADHD, um, digital planner life. Well, that doesn't really have anything happening here and we have basically digital planner right so what i will do i will just show you the thought process that i go through to create a digital planner using chat gpt and gemini that is formerly known as google bar well gemini.google yeah <laughs> so let us look at so let us look first at um what ChatGPT has to offer i already have a prompt okay so i'll just paste that in so basically i said can you assist me in creating a planner for someone with adhd please guide me on how to start a planner and what should be included in each section page by page so let us see what ChatGPT has for us okay but i would also like to let you know i personally love to use um gemini.google formerly known as bard um, for this. Okay. I think they provide more information, but what I will suggest is you can use both. So put in the same prompt for in both, um, AI and see what you get. Okay. So let us see here. We have introduction and instructions. Um, start with an introduction explaining the purpose of the planner and how to use it effectively, provide some basic instructions on how to navigate the planner and make the most out of it. Okay. So we have instructions and introduction instructions personal information you have monthly overview right then you have weekly planner then you have the daily planner then you have the goal setting habit tracker notes etc emergency contact etc so let us now go into gemini and insert the same prompt and see what we get here so i hope you guys are seeing where i am going with this okay so basically gemini <laughs> is telling me to choose a platform okay uh dedicate okay um start with a simple layout right avoid overwhelming layouts da, da, da. so daily planner so basically start with essential sections where we have the daily planner time blocking prioritizing we, then we have the weekly planner we have monthly planner additional sections it's telling us to remember certain things okay so let's go back to chat gpt right and chat gpt basically i like it it's very much it's very detailed what i will do is ask chat gpt to provide me with the information for this section okay okay so basically here chat gpt is providing me with the details <laughs> um of the planner and it is giving me instructions on how to use the planner the purpose of the planner a brief introduction of course you can lengthen this um how to use a planner tips for success and a conclusion okay so this is what we want we want the juicy part okay so now let us ask chat to give us the information for number part number two or section two
Okay, here it goes. All right. Oops, sorry. I made an error here. I didn't paste the um the personal information part. Okay, so that is my error. Let me just fix that. Okay. Okay, so now we have it. Right, the purpose on um, the personal information section. Da da da. Provided, you know, with why you need that basically and then you have layout and design ideas right so cover page designate a visual appealing cover page okay then we have contact details um dedicated page for contact details including full name address etc then you have emergency contacts so tips for designing utilize a clear legible font da, 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 da. okay so it also provided a sample layout and I think this is perfect. So a sample layout um, that you can probably use. You can copy that and paste it in and, you know, you can fix it up any how you want. Guys, if you're loving this video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead, please. Click the subscribe button. Okay, guys. So let us do this again. Um, you know, just so that you can get a better picture. I know that you're loving this because I love this. But anyway, let us ask ChatGPT to help me with this, please. Okay, so this section is the monthly overview so let us see what chat gpt has okay guys so basically this is what chat gpt has provided for us um so it has provided us with the cover page the monthly calendar the key dates goals and priorities note section um and it also provided a sample right layout so basically you have the cover page you know you you may see um february month something like that so when it says cover page you can easily ask it what do you mean by cover page let us test it out okay guys so chat gpt has apologized and <laughs> it has clarified what it meant by saying the cover page so basically it is telling us by cover page um he meant that introduction the introductory page at the beginning of the section that serves a title page or heading for that particular section it's not necessarily a physical cover like you might find on the outside okay but rather a page that introduces the content within the section so um as it says here the cover page would be the first page um, that is sec of that section. So clearly titled as monthly overview. So this will be the cover page, right? So you can see monthly overview, February monthly overview, or just February month, really, right? Just to keep it simple, nice. And you can easily ask it, what should I put on my cover page? right so you put the title the subtitle right to give a little uh, uh, idea of elements oh oh guys are you seeing this okay <laughs> so are you, are you seeing this okay so monthly overview but i will still suggest that here you put probably february month or whatever and uh, you don't, I don't think you need anything like your name and all this information, but you can put a nice little quote or something like that that says the organized the focus. Well, not exactly like that, but something like that, if you get my drift. So I'd like to quickly pop in and let you know that we currently have 30% of planners and journals with the code plan 30. So if you actually want to get uh started with your digital business you can easily go into go to instantrights.com and go to shop and you can click on planners or journals and you can purchase any one of these and get 30 percent off and when you purchase that you can simply um do what i do use chat gpt to fill out your 
piano and you can easily change the color you have the plr rights to you can resell you can do whatever you want with your planner basically and if you want to start that faceless um business that everybody's talking about um i actually have an ebook on that where you can easily start your own faceless uh it's it, it actually gives you details step by step and how you can start this so it is on a uh, special now but i don't know how long that special would last but you it basically i already showed you how to create your planner or your journal or whatever it is using chat gpt to help give you that spark of an idea that's that idea okay so this now will help you take that idea and refine it of course it will help you you know refine your niche and also help you build create your instagram account and help you monetize that okay to sell your digital product so if you are interested guys instantrights.com is the place to go to get your digital products okay okay guys so i've I'm now asking ChatGPT. So I'm now asking ChatGPT what I can. Okay, guys. So I'm now asking ChatGPT what I can bundle with this planner. All right. So I know um I I haven't completed building out the planner because I think you know it's pretty understandable. You basically build it. It it is very time consuming. That is why I think um if you take the time and you build and you you ask the specific questions, the necessary questions, you will get a favor favorable response, okay? So now I want ChatGPT to give me ideas of what I can bundle this planner with. Yes, I would like to sell the planner by itself, but I also would like to bundle it with something so that I can get more money, all right? So let us see what ChatGPT has in store for us, okay? Here you go. We have a ton of things that we can use to bundle you know that we can create so probably we can pick one or two or three okay so we have a ton of stuff here so what we can do is probably select two or three of these and create it the same way we have created the planner okay by asking it to, to ask me ChatGPT to help us create this section by section page by page you know you can put in whatever prompts you would like to have you can easily ask it to tell you what to put on this page okay it give you samples like what you saw above okay you have sticker packs and stickers are lovely so that you will you can create in another software okay you have um progress trackers and accessories <laughs> consider plan accessories such as pen and so forth but we are looking only at digital items so we will remain with digital items okay so now moving on to the next step how can we market this planner so let us say that you have your instagram page right and you want to get some ideas on how you can market the planner okay so let me put in a prompt here. Okay, so I've asked it to give me five ideas that will help me market my ADHD planner on my Instagram faceless account. Okay, so if you want to show your face, that is fine. I am just suggesting faceless because I think that is what everyone wants to do because it, it's less time consuming. You don't have to put on makeup and the whole, you know, get ready. Um, it may take whole 30 or so minutes to get ready just to do one or two reels. Okay, so this is what it is telling me. Create educational content, user testimonials, and behind the scene sneak peek, uh, interactive challenges or quizzes, um, collaboration with experts. Okay, so I will tell ChatGPT, listen what I normally do. Okay, All right, L listen to this. Okay, okay, so I told ChatGPT, I am a new business, I do not have, have any clients, right? So it is giving me a strategy basically. 
So basically told me create um, high value content that resonates with your target audience, um, engagement, da, 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 giveaways, and you know, which all these are fine. But let me ask ChatGPT to give me five educational contents or pieces that I can post. Okay, so basically I've asked ChatGPT to give me, give me five educational content that I can post on Instagram, give me a captivating hook, caption details, and hashtag suggestions, low competition, and high demand. Okay, so I've asked it to put this in a table format. So let us see what ChatGPT will put on the screen here for us, okay? Close my eyes and cross my finger. <laughs> wow, you know, that's the thing about ChatGPT, they love, it just love using this word unlock. So these are fine, but I will take the same prompt and and give it to Gemini. So I'll take the same prompt, prompt and give it to Gemini and see what Gemini has to offer. Wow, I love this. Guys, are you seeing this? This is really good. Wow, and you can export the sheets. Okay, so we have, did you know the phone can double your productivity? Okay, so basically it's the caption detail is telling us to share a quick tip example using timers app and explain how it can save time and improve and include a call to action to ask viewers for their favorite productivity hacks but i wanted it to create the caption for me okay want to learn a new skill in 10 minutes a day introducing a micro learning technique using apps listening to podcasts and showcase um, resources for spe specific skills i am sure i said adhd oh i didn't oh oh my bad okay guys so i will just simply copy and paste the prompt in here i'm giving it more information here because it didn't have the prior information that um chat gpt has okay so let me just go ahead and press play and see what we get okay right this is really good so ever feel like your brain is on a million a million channels at once i think this is really good you know and then you can put your call to action asking persons to download your asking persons to um get your planner okay or the bundle okay so i think this is good so that is why i like to work with both are you seeing now why i like to work with both so let us see what chat gpt has yeah i really prefer what gemini offered in regarding this okay so you guys this is it so basically i showed you how to brainstorm and get everything that you will need from chat gpt and or Gemini right and how you can easily get one of my planners that is already done for you and you can simply add different pages and restructure and change color and just make it your own okay so I even showed you marketing tips on how you can get ideas for your Instagram posts to post on your faceless um, Instagram channel or if you can actually see those um, you can actually show your face you know it doesn't matter really you know some people are shy some are not okay oh guys if you're interested in creating an instagram page without showing your face please feel free to watch this video next okay